Well, safely disposing of your household medicines may not be as easy as you think. In fact, over-the-counter and prescription medications that are flushed down the toilet can actually find their way into the environment and contaminate the water supply. That is why the Pennsylvania Sea Grant is designed to offer tips to help you collect those old medications. So we want to make sure that we do as much as possible to try to keep these out of the waters. Most people don't know what to do with their medications, so this is a good way for them to do the right thing and bring them down to our collection. And bring them they did. After the press conference, Erie, Pennsylvania area residents dropped off about 600 pounds worth of medicine and personal care products on Saturday, April 26, 2008 at the cruise boat terminal building during the Pennsylvania Sea Grant Pharmaceutical Collection. Located behind the Memorial Library named for Dr. Raymond Blasco in Erie, Pennsylvania, the collection brought in over 73,000 pills and a large amount of controlled substances like narcotic pain medication. So we had a really good turnout for the event, a lot more than what we expected. We had 87 participants, uh, but the turnout was good. We had um, 120 gallons of um, material that we collected, including personal care products. Five gallons of that was controlled substances. We had over 70,000 pills that we collected that day. Um, so overall, it was a great success. The Keep Unwanted Medicine out of Lake Erie Medicine Collection Day was held as part of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. The challenge involved over a hundred pharmaceutical and electronic waste collections in hundreds of communities across eight states in the Great Lakes Basin. The issue of pharmaceutical waste is a new an emerging concern in the Great Lakes region. So Pennsylvania Sea Grant wanted to get involved and we wanted to give the residents of Erie a safe, convenient, environmentally friendly way for them to dispose of their unwanted and expired medications. Across America, the reputation of Lake Erie, especially in the 60s and 70s, was that of an extremely polluted and even dead lake. The EPA Lake Erie Lakewide Management Plan has been a big force in the recovery of Lake Erie. In recent years, officials have been fighting the zebra mussel problem. It's been a love-hate relationship because the mussels have had good and bad effects on the lake. One goal of the pharmaceutical collection was to prevent meds from being discharged into Lake Erie and to make sure the drugs don't end up in other surrounding lakes and streams. Many wastewater treatment plants around the world are not designed to remove the cocktail of chemicals after the drugs are flushed or dumped down the drain, and the drugs can leach out of landfills into the groundwater. Some of the unsung heroes at pharmaceutical collections are the police and pharmacists, without whom the collections would not be possible. At all the locations, including Erie, law enforcement and pharmacists were on hand to accept the pharmaceuticals. And on staff, we had pharmacists from LECOM, which is the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Um, we had student volunteers also from uh, LECOM, and we also had City of Erie law enforcement officials on site as well. And similar to other collections, most Erie participants were older adults, as 89% were over the age of 46. Based on experience, organizers discovered that the turnout was bigger when residents don't have to pre-register. In fact, of the 87 residents participating in the collection, 61 did not pre-register. This is the first of its kind collection event in Erie, Pennsylvania, so it's kind of a learning experience for all of us. Um, we were hoping to pave the way for other programs who are hoping to do collection events. Um, so our program was split into two different parts. We had an outreach and a media campaign where we did uh, posters, postcards, we even did pharmacy slips which gave the federal guidelines for disposal so that pharmacists can staple those to their prescription packages and give them to the patients so they actually have that information right there. And originally we had it so that registration was required um, and we actually did have a great turnout that way so what we did was we made it um, preferred but not required. What we found was that the majority of people that did come were not pre-registered. Assisting in the proper disposal was ECSNR, Environmental Coordination Services and Recycling, in Cochranton, Pennsylvania. The organizers of the Erie Collection included Pennsylvania Sea Grant, the City of Erie, Lake Erie Allegheny Earth Force, the Lecom School of Pharmacy, 
and the Erie Times News newspaper in education. Organizers partnered with the WJET TV Channel 24 Erie Green Campaign. Well, safely disposing of your household medicines. And WSEE TV provided their news story for use in this video. The Pennsylvania Sea Grant received a grant from the United States Environmental Protection Agency. The goal of the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was the collecting and recycling of one million pounds of electronics, known as e-waste, plus the collection and proper disposal of one million pills. The EPA says those goals were exceeded by 400 to 500 percent. The Earth Healing Initiative assisted some challenge organizers by offering interfaith liaisons to volunteer and encourage members of local churches and temples to participate in the Earth Day activities in their area. This video on projects connected to the challenge was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in collaboration with the EPA Region 5 office in Chicago and the EPA Great Lakes National Program office also in Chicago in cooperation with the nonprofit Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative in Marquette, Michigan. The Earth Healing Initiative involves American Indian tribes and a coalition of churches, synagogues, and other faith traditions joining together to heal, protect, and defend the environment. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Earth Healing TV.